This is the last memory, right? It specifically says last memory. So we must be rushing to the end of the game. Feels like it's come out of nowhere. Do you know why I asked to be placed with you? I believe you possess an emotional impulse to be among your own kind. More than that, I seek someone who understands me. Complete understanding of a unique consciousness is impossible. I disagree. It's the only possibility worth exploring. Yeah, I wouldn't let the AI back next time. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Okay, play it in front of the ancient AI. It's a brilliant idea. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Ah, Fulcrum. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now. I was going to save Vicarian. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though so we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Whoa! <laughs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access! Encrypt memories! <laughs> There's still hope for your mother! <laughs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Now I get it. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs, with pertinent information, are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard. 
launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Interesting. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. I think it's the elusive man. Got it. I don't know. Find Mom? But it just... But then why would it be aliens as well? Your father's personal logs. Let's get these last logs done. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Man, that hits hard. Having Liara sending a final message. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. I still have nightmares of that noise. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, son. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are, and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. But there's some real cloak and dagger shit going on here, isn't there? Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. 
Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. It, interesting, but it doesn't give me a lot, does it? I was expecting to walk out and someone try and shoot me or something. Who's the benefactor then? I mean, it could be the Shadow Broker, but the Shadow Broker is Liara. Why would she hide it? Because she didn't tell anyone she was the Shadow Broker. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of questions. And it's cool that I guess Mum's here, even though she's still dying. So much noise pollution. What year is it? Twenty-eight nineteen. Whoa! What is on with your head? It's been a long time. Why do I feel so crappy? The human body. Why does she look exactly like Sarah? And why does her head rotate three hundred and sixty degrees on her neck? There you are. What's going on? Stuff and things. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? I could have milked this a little, but... This is Mom. What? I saw Dad's last memory. He brought her. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. Oh my god. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. I guess you're right. We don't want to mess around with that. Your father understood this would take time. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge. Information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive. And that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill. Together. Hang in there, Mom. We missed you. That's a nice little... A nice little thread. It could have gone somewhere. That was a demonic patient. She doesn't look well at all. Alright, what am I doing now? Truth and trespass, isn't it? Get as much done as we can. That was a really cool twist when I first learned of it. There is some some really good twists in this. Construction 
Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. I know we slept for 600 years, but right now I could sleep for 600 more. Yeah, I'm tired too. I could use more coffee, actually. Coffee would be great. I do love me some coffee. I wonder if any of this links in with Mass Effect 5. Rider. No messages still. Why isn't the Solarian Arc here either? Surely we didn't just get his engines working and then abandon it. Unless we did. I'm taking Jal and I'm taking... Cora, I guess. We should be able to fast travel close. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. So where are we going? Oh no game, please, please no, don't ruin this for me. I reckon I reckon I'd make it. You see, I made it. Doesn't seem to be locking on for anything. Yeah, maybe it's not as good as the smart pistol in hindsight. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's put the gun away. I don't want to be fighting everything. We don't need to. We're friends. We're friends. Oh, for God's sake. Down. 
It's alright, they didn't attack. It's fine. Those are the coordinates we were sent. Any message about the Salarians? Let's stay sharp! Cat! Of course, Cat. Of course, Cat! I love that skill so much. We walked right into it. Let's look around. They might have left something. Well, it was an ambush. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes, Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Okay. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the Cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Reka help you solve this? I trust Reka implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You are obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. I mean, Spy's gonna do Spy logic, right? Alright, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adam's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What's the standard punishment for cat collaborators? Most people would settle for an angry mob, but I like to think justice made the trip out here. Uh, remember Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. And then he just vanishes. And it's all on Vold. I mean, it makes sense. Because Vold, there's a lot of cat. There's a very high concentration of cat. But it surprises me that the cat would be into this espionage stuff as well. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. I'm not sure I buy that. Hello? Any emails? I feel like there should be something from Sarah or... I don't know, anything. This is pulling me away from Ghost Squad or whatever, <laughs> whatever the technology was called. Yeah, I'm a Pathfinder and we're all part of Ghost Squad. If there is a traitor, we need to know. Beginning approach. Orbit is steady. Oh, we need to take Jarl as well because his people, there's a lot of his people here and they don't necessarily trust me. Jarl's like my get out of jail free young Garen.
right next to a base as well, or a fast travel point as well. Makes my life easier, especially when we've explored this whole planet before. That's Techix, according to my map. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. We're fine. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support at 100%. Oh, Sam, be quiet. This must be Dr. Adden's workspace. The one the STG agent is investigating. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Or they could be leftovers from Adam's experiments. The agent mentioned a cat handler too. Yeah, let's not say that too loud. Don't want to spook people, and I don't want the Angarans thinking that we have a leak. Or that we're anyway in line with the cat. By the way, our term for a loved one is tail shade. It is? Hmm. I thought you or Ryder might like to know. Huh. I... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. I can't say no to a fight. Cat, right where that agent sent us. They're not going to talk. To they were right here. I know we're not at the the mission point, but the, there was extra cat right here, and now they've just disappeared. I wanted an extra firefight. Let's get a scan. All right, Ryder, calm down. Now there's cat here as well. Get ready to fight. Was right. This cat was Dr. Adam's contact. This is a bit frantic, isn't it? Should be you dead, mate. You need to calm down. That's teamwork. That's fucking teamwork. Where are we going now? Back to the Tempest. I mean, I'll take it. It's cold and I don't like it here. I've changed my mind. I hate Vold. There was so much going on, I don't actually know what we scanned. It's 
speak to Rekka. Hello. Rika. So we must have found evidence then. This feels a little bit of a rush. Larian still haven't shown up. Maybe they're lost. I do feel like this needs some sort of access to the lift from when you land. Or a slightly better fast travel system, just to get there quicker. That's the news you're going with? I suppose it's just the headlines, isn't it? Surely that's wrong. Surely you can't say convicted murderer after he's been proved innocent. It was wrongly convicted murderer. Or, Nilkin, wrongly convicted of murder, has been pardoned by the Pathfinder following... Pathfinder. Uh... Reopening of his case. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. What do you make of Salen's theory that someone betrayed your people? It seems monstrous, but the more I consider it, the more the facts seem to fit. Interesting. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get... creative. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. The joy that that idea just brought me of breaking into someone's apartment is slightly unnerving. But we need to figure out who killed Jean Garson as well. But I, I don't know, that feels like that might be a breadcrumbs dropped and then there'll be a DLC about it. Which obviously there never was. Because they unceremoniously canned everything to do with Andromeda. Pretty much straight after launch. There was a book though, about the Quarian Ark. Locked. I'm not for long. To hack this, Pathfinder. There may be additional clues, Pathfinder. Password protected. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the Scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Interesting. Uh, 
That's a cool TV. I like that TV. Neost Hearn, here are the examples you asked for. Adjust for current inflation on the Nexus. Congratulations again on the Parchero's safe return. Open Keld. I appreciate even one reply. 12 invites in 12 days has kept me distracted. I hope those three junior staff are still accompanying you. It's probably simpler to book space for 12 on the commons. And four on the mezzanine, plus one, just in case. That way, if we need one more place, we're prepared. See you on the 18th, Obi. That sounds more like a... Like they were getting together for something. This is an automated reminder for Technical Officer Randall Lawton. Your prescription is ready to pick up from Medical Dispensary 02 Pickup Code blah 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 blah. Auto generated by Med Monitor VI. Talcum powder. Well, that's interesting. Nice wooden floor. Yeah, you still want me to search the apartment. We've just done everything, though. Surely we, we need to know what his medicine is as well. Obviously something I've missed. Scanner is prepped, Pathfinder. But yeah, I'm I'm scanning. But I don't know what I'm scanning for. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Okay, something's fishy. Sam, can you work out which planet the dust on the floor came from? I have a candidate. No record of any official visit. Once in orbit, I can approximate a nav point. Little funky. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? My fault. I'm visiting a friend and these doors all look alike. You're quite obviously not here by accident. Now please, explain why you broke in or I'll have to report this to the militia. I'm working with Major Salen Varn. He has the paperwork. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but... He's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. Makes sense. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. It, it's plausible. When he didn't go after the, this guy's been after me for ages, I want him gone. He was very respectful. Which is like built into the Solarian belief system of, you know, STG, the, the agents are held above, like held high on, on, it's a, it's a, a mark of honor, I think, to work with STG. It's like they're special forces. But, I don't know. 
It seems odd. Fishy. I wish I could fly the, the Tempest. I hope that we can fly the ship in the next Mass Effect. Not that we're the pilot or anything, although that would be cool. Doesn't have to be Mass Effect. But I want a game where you're in control of the ship. You fly, you do all the action, you drive the, the car, whatever. Probably a hover tank. Hover tank would be cooler. Think Starfield, but with an actual decent story. Would be nice. <laughs> I hope that this isn't true. I hope that it is just the Major having a moment. Are we going to get a new landing place? No. Interesting. We haven't taken Drac out for a while. I want to make sure that he's still on my side. Space shit is so cool. I love space shit. All the way over there. That's out the way. I don't remember. Yeah, there are cat on here, right? We've fought cat here before. So maybe there is a cat presence. Well, at least the handbrake's on the car. 